Um, this is a question that was posted on the 11 plus um, ISEB Facebook group. Um, and I was tagged by the lovely Sheena as one of the people who might be interested um, in, in having a look at this question. Um, and it is, it's a very interesting question. Um, but I just wanted to point out that um, I'm, I'm rapidly losing my hair uh, at, at a very, very fast rate. And and probably from, from having to think about these questions on a daily basis. Um, so I just want to thank Sheena uh, for the increase of my hair loss. Um, and for those who don't know who Sheena is, um, she's an author of one of these amazing 11 plus vocabulary books um, where she entwines the story and you actually learn vocabulary at the same time. So if you haven't read them or you haven't got them, uh, make sure if, if your child's doing the 11 plus or they just want to learn, improve their vocabulary, uh, please, please, please go, go check out those books because they actually are amazing. The only reason I'm not saying the title is because I cannot pronounce Welsh words. So please forgive me, Sheena. Um, and the question here now, um, actually, yeah. So a five digit number has the following features. Um, if we put the numeral one at the beginning, we get a number three times smaller then if we put the numeral at the end of the number. OK, um, in other words, if you think the answer is the number three, four, five, six, seven, and then you want the number one, three, four, five, six, seven to be one third of three, four, five, six, seven, one. Uh, but it isn't. Uh, so what is this number? Well, firstly, we really need to understand, well, what's going on mathematically um, when we put a number one at the beginning and what happens mathematically when we put one at the end of the number. So it's not so much a trick, it's more about analyzing what's, what's going on. So quite often people put these things down to tricks, but the more you analyze these questions and think about what's actually happening, you begin to actually understand the way numbers are structured. So if I say I've got this mystery number, five digit number X, if I put a number in front of it, I change the number a bit. So this is not algebra, this is not one times X. This is the number, the digit one, in front of this five-digit number. So this is not algebra. It's not one place in front of this five-digit number. And on the other side, well, I have this five-digit number, and I have a one behind it. Um, so again, this is not algebra. This is a five-digit number, whatever it may be, and I put a one behind it. But mathematically, what's going on? Well, if I have this five-digit number, let's say five, four, three, two, one, and I put a one in front of it, what am I doing? I'm taking this five digit number and I'm actually adding 100,000 to it. And I'll show you. So if I have 100,000 and I add five, four, three, two, one, well, I get that number there. So that's mathematically what I'm doing. When I put the number one behind this five digit number, well, five, four, three, two, one and I put another one there. Well, what am I doing now? Well, I'm making this number 10 times bigger and then I'm adding one. So I make this five, four, three, two, one and a zero. So I'm making it bigger and then I add the one to it. Well, to give me that number again. So that's what we're actually doing mathematically. And we, we use that to actually help us solve the problem. So let me just move those out of the way first. But I'm moving this slightly further down first. So in this case, I'm taking my five digit number and I'm adding 100,000 to it. And on the other side, I'm taking my five digit number, I'm multiplying by 10 and I'm adding one. So that, that's the actual mathematical process. So now this is algebra. Um, but it also says that the first number, the one with the one at the beginning, is three times smaller than well, this number. So this is three times smaller than this number, which means if I multiply this by three, well, they're going to equal to each other. And so we've got our algebra statement. Uh, and then from there, well, it's actually just a bit of simple algebra. Well, I've opened up the brackets, well, I get a 3x plus 300,000. And on this side, well, I get 10x plus one. Uh, two quick rearranging, minus three x on both sides, minus one on both sides, well, I end up with seven x equals to two, nine, nine, 
9, uh, which means that x is equal to, uh, I've got a division to do now, um, so 7 divided into 2, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. Uh, 2 into 20, 7 into 29 goes in four times, the remainder of 1. Uh, 7 into 19 goes in twice, the remainder of uh, 5. Uh, 7 to 59 goes in eight times, the remainder of 3. 7 to 39 goes in five times, the remainder of 4. And 7 goes into 49 exactly seven times. So our number is, um, well, 42857. And the two numbers that they're talking about is 142857. Um, if we times that by three, it would give us four, nine, so sorry, 42857. And you can try, you can check the calculation, uh, but it should be correct.